Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my December natural hair favorites. Okay, so I'm so excited to be able to bring my favorites back. I wasn't able to do a favorites in the month of, for the month of November because my hair was in Senegalese twist that entire time and I really didn't use much product. I decided I'm gonna bring it back for December because my hair was out and I have a bunch of things that I did use and fell in love with again. Um, so I'll start with wash routine and then go into moisturizing routine. For shampoo, my favorite was the Design Essentials Natural Curl Cleanser. I absolutely, absolutely forgot how much I loved this product. Um, the beginning of my journey, maybe at first after like the first six months, I was using the Design Essentials Curl Cleanser along with the um, natural shampoo. And um, this particular line is made with naturals in mind because Design Essentials is a professional line and they make products for all hair types, straight, they make products for relaxed and processed, colored, and um, this is the natural line. So I still have this bottle from months and maybe over a year ago and I absolutely love it and I forgot how much I loved it but I used it this month to shampoo my hair and it's amazing. If you haven't heard about the Design Essentials Natural line, you need to get with it. Um, I got this product from, um, there's a beauty supply store here in New York on 8th and 36th, um, but if you don't have Design Essentials locally to you, you can get them online, but I really don't know what, what other retailers sell it because it's a professional line and it's usually sold in um, salons, but this particular store has like every product in it and it's really good. I love New York, y'all. New York has everything. <laughs> anyway, for conditioner, it was the Orbi or the Orbi Honeysuckle Rose um, conditioner. I really like this conditioner. I did a product review on it. Um, you can check the description box. I'll put it in there. But I really like it. It doesn't have the best slip, I know. But I like to detangle my hair with my detangling cocktail before I go into the shower and shampoo and condition. So for me, I'm able to get a good detangling with it because it goes in my detangling cocktail which is a, a mixture that helps me to detangle very easily so for me it's good um, leaves my hair very soft love the smell um, and if you want information on my detangling cocktail check the description box. Right, so the last part of the wash routine is the deep conditioning and for my deep conditioner of choice for this month was the anti breakage mask by Shea Moisture it's from the Yucca and Baobab collection which the whole entire collection has biotin. Great for growing hair. If you're looking for some growth, you wanna get with some biotin. Um, but I know that my hair is not thin or fine, which is who this product um, is catering to because women with thicker fine hair, generally speaking, want hair growth and thicker strands. But you don't have to have thin or fine hair to use the product, it's good for everyone. Um, I especially love it because it leaves my hair very soft and it leaves my hair smelling so good um, and really moisturized and after I took my Senegalese twist out, I had a significant amount of shed hair so I just felt like it would be the better thing to use over another deep conditioner um, because it's great for um, breakage, you know, so that's why I use that. So as far as... Um, Oh, one more thing. I did a hot oil treatment with this curls oil. It's the Kakui Nut Oil Elixir. This stuff is really good. My only complaint about this is that it's really expensive and if you're gonna do a hot oil treatment, you really wanna make sure that you have a good amount of oil and you don't want to overuse your oil and this product is only four ounces so I really use a little bit for my hot oil treatment because I didn't want to like overdo it um, and I did, I did also use it to seal my hair but I do prefer sealing my hair with like Jamaican black castor oil because I'm doing the castor oil challenge and um, I'm just very used to it but that was definitely used for hot oil treatment. Um, so for my moisturizing routine, my leave-in conditioner of choice for December, that was my favorite, was Karen's Body Beautiful Sweet Ambrosia Leave-In Conditioner. And this is in the fragrance Promic Granite Guava. I have a sample of it and I've used it over and over and over this month and I still have a good amount left. Like it doesn't even feel like it's half full. It feels like it's like um, 
maybe even like three quarters full. It feels really good. And it's really soft on your on the hair, like it's super good. I'm probably gonna wash my hair tonight and will most likely be using that as my leave-in again. So my moisturizer of choice is definitely the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is no secret to most people that this is one of my favorite products. It's winter, the weather's cooler, the weather's colder. So for me, something that's thick, buttery, rich, and creamy, like the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie is so important for my hair. I need something that's gonna keep my hair moisturize and I can use a smoothie on a Saturday night and not have to re-moisturize my hair at all during the week like at all at all it's so good so that was my moisturizer of choice my oil for sealing I already mentioned that I did use the curls oil to seal from now for a few times but I prefer Jamaican black castor oil in this bottle is coconut Jamaican black castor oil by uh, Tropic Isle, and I also added some extra virgin olive oil just to keep it from, uh, you know, thickening, hardening up. Because if the if my place is if my house is cool, it tends to harden up, and then I have to go in the bathroom and warm it up. And so I didn't want to have to do this. So I put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to keep it solid, but it was just a little bit of um, coconut oil solidifying on the bottom, and I was able to just shake it up, and it's good. And lastly, my uh, I've been using the Curls Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste. This is some really good stuff. I talked about my bunning, uh, using the bunning technique to stretch my hair during the week after an old twist out. So what I do with this product is I put it on my edges and I put it on the edges in the back and I do that and then put on my hair in a bun and, and put my hair in a scarf. And it really helps to control my edges and have them lay down without that hard, crunchy feeling from like a gel. It's, it feels so good. I really, really like it. Um, I don't, it's not one of those things you wanna use if you're gonna slick your hair up in a bun and you want a super tight hold, cause it's not a super tight hold. I find that it's a soft hold and it's more of, I'm gonna keep it neat versus then keep it slick. So your edges are not gonna lay back like super taut, but they won't come undone and look unruly. It does a good job at taming them. To me, personally, it does. Um, so that is my December favorite. So tell me, what were some of your December favorites? I'd love to hear them and read them, and maybe there'll be products in there that I've never used, and I'll go and I'll check them out. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I'd love to answer them. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I appreciate your support in advance, and as always, I love you for watching. Bye.